Hello guys! So I think we're going to treat today as a question Tuesday and I know this video is kind of going up late on Tuesday so I'm sorry if it bleeds into Wednesday for any of you but we're treating it as question Tuesday regardless. So one of the adventurers, and the uh, name's going to flash down here in a bit, um, asked me about my guilty pleasures and I thought that today would be a really good day for me to tell you about this because it's January and it's kind of the guilty pleasures that get you through the gloom of winter, right? Okay, so I'm going to give you my top five. These are the things that whenever I say I like them out loud, I, I tend to want to cringe or whisper. So, you know, cut me a little bit of slack. The number five thing that I like and that most people tend to be a little bit grossed out by is that I eat my salsa with Doritos. See? Salsa and Doritos! They're the same color on the packages. You know they belong together. Number four, I like cop shows, which I'm sure you guessed from the last video, and you're wondering how that can be embarrassing since I've already made a video about it. But literally, any cop show, I can sit down for at least a few hours and watch. Number three is not embarrassing depending on the day. Okay? Because I grew up with this movie. Like, most people grow up with Barney and the Chipmunks or something. Okay? Um, but I like Dirty Dancing. Okay, so... My number two thing, I like Camp Rock. Yeah. Okay, but you have to admit that one, it did a better job of seeming realistic and having good music and all that jazz and having actual talent in it than the High School Musical movies did. And I have a 13 year old sister, so you know I've had to sit through all of that stuff. And it could be worse. I could secretly like Miley Cyrus, alright? That would be bad. My number one guilty pleasure are romance novels. Now, not like all romance novels. You're not going to catch me in the romance section of a bookstore, like flipping through, trying to pick out which Harley Quinn romance novel I want to read this month. It's not like that. My mom really got interested in um, novels that had particularly, I don't know, have particular families in them. Yeah. She wanted to read all about the McGregors. <laughs> okay? And. That was fine, okay? But then she'd pass them along to me when she was done with them because she had nowhere to put the books and she wanted me to read them because she wanted to talk about them with somebody because what I didn't know at the time was that my mom was writing these in her head and, and then later on paper. So she really was trying to gear me up to be able to help her edit these things and reading them without wanting to, you know, throw something at the wall later on in life. But at the time, um, it was just kind of embarrassing. And now it's this crazy guilty pleasure because what kind of a person doesn't want a happy ending? I mean, really. I want a happy ending as much as the average person. And if they involve, you know, families that are crazy talented and run all over each other and yet still love each other, then I mean, I, that just sounds like fun to me. I like romance novels, but I don't like all romance novels or a specific author or anything. But I like romance novels that um, kind of run in series, which is weird because I hate for my fiction to run in series. It drives me nuts. But romance novels, I like to be series. I like to read about the families and the different ways they meet their significant others. And, um, yeah. Those are my guilty pleasures. And I kind of feel thoroughly embarrassed. So I'm going to go. And, um,. I will see you later. Oh, I meant to ask you, what are your guilty pleasures? Because I cannot be the only one in the world who is embarrassed to like something. So, what are your guilty pleasures and how did you come about them? Because I think that's almost more interesting than the guilty pleasure. Right, that's the real end of my video. I was just kidding about the previous one. 